and so I can just use a print statement here and I can print out line but the thing is anytime we read a line you see the way the, 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 the lines are, are stored in the file anytime it reads a line it reads this line but at the same time there's a new line character attached to this that's what's causing it to be displayed this way in the file Okay, first line is displayed all right, but then there's a new line character attached to the right of this of this line over here. So and and basically that that hidden new line character we don't see is what's causing it to be displayed what's causing these lines to, to be displayed this way. That's what's causing the second line here, what's going to second line to be displayed on, on, on over here instead of continuing from the end of it. That hidden new line character is forcing second line to be displayed here. There's a, there's also an, another hidden new line character at the end of second line and that's what's causing this third string over here to be displayed on over here so basically anytime you read a line you are reading the line itself plus a hidden new line character and so when you try to display it that way you're going to see that you're going to have you're going to have more uh, you're going to have an extra line break and we'll get that I so I wouldn't fix it now I want us to see it first okay so we print out line and as, uh, after we print that line, let's go ahead and read the line again. Read another line because think about it. This is going to be the very first line. The read position will move to the next line after we've read. After we've read the very first line over here, which is first line, the read position will move here to the beginning of second line and wait for you to call read line again, right? So if we call read line over here once. We have this line in the variable line. The reposition will move to the beginning of second line and wait for us, right? And wait for us. We haven't called it again. Still line contains this string first line. Still line contains first line. So it's checking to see is first line, is, is this, is what's stored in line, which is first line? Is it empty? No, it's not empty. It's first line. It's this string here, first line. It's not empty. Okay. Is lines read less than or equal to maximum lines um, uh, maximum lines to read yes because that this is the very first line we're reading and then we print out first line but if the loop i trace again line is still this line is still the string here first line if we don't read the line again right if we don't call read file the read line again the line what's stored in line the line variable will always be first line right and, so, and we don't want that. So this is going to, going to be an infinite loop if we don't call read line, or read line again. Now again, read line, anytime you, read, read, you call read line, it reads, a, it reads a line and moves the read position to the next, li next line and waits for you. And then you call read line again, it reads the next line, and it, move, it reads the, the, basically the current line, right? And move the position to the next line and waits for you. You call it again, it reads this line, move the read position from here to the next line and waits for you. Now, when it gets somewhere here, right, you call read line, it reads the S. It's going to move the position from here to the next, to the end of the line here. To the end of the line right here. <laughs> Sorry, this is not allowing me to do anything. All right, right here. And so when you call read line again, it's going to return an empty string. It's going to try to read an empty, an empty, empty string here. And it's going to return it. When it returns that, it proves to you that you've reached the end of file. That's what we are testing here. Okay, sorry, my phone dropped. Okay, so if we, uh, so anytime we print a line, we want to call, we want to call reline again to read the next line. Otherwise, we'll still be dealing with first line here. So that's why we have to call it again. So basically, it's basically going to be this same statement again: read file dot read line. But we need a place to start, so I'm going to save it in the same variable called line. Because that's what we are checking. This, that's this is this loop is going to iterate, and that's what we are checking each time. Is while line is not equal to empty string. Okay, so we are checking. After we read the, another line, we are storing it in the a variable line again. It doesn't matter if these are the same. This particular line runs only once. Apart from that, the loop will take over. The loop will keep on iterating, and so we read a line, it checks the line. We read a line, it checks the line, and so on and so forth, so forth. All right. So, for the most part, I think, um, I think we we, we um, you know we we started we started well, right? Now let's test it to see where we are. Okay. After you've defined your main function, we have to call it. If we don't call the main function, nothing happens. If I save this file, and 
the same location where I have my uh, my text file so desktop I'm going to save this as file head display dot pi okay see nothing happens we have defined the main function right we so we, so although although this main function oops let me just terminate oops sorry <laughs> let me just terminate this okay so although the main function has all the functions being called the main function itself it, it, it's a function and it has to be called if you don't call it nothing happens and so let's call the main function this way all right so when I run now try to run this it's asking us to enter the name of the file let me just put the colon here so it looks much more friendly okay so enter the name of the file it has to be the same okay it has to be the same as the, the so right now we don't we don't have it check we don't have you know we we don't we are not checking to make sure that the file exists or you know anything so for now we have to make sure that the file exists right we, we have to make sure we type in the exact you know name of the file with the extension txt and so I name the file as sample text right dot txt make sure you add the extension otherwise it won't work um before that right before that any we have to also close the file okay i forgot to close the file um so it's it's a good practice to close the file because you have to actually close the file because w what happens is over here we're not really um writing to the file or anything we're reading from the file but still we have to go ahead and and, and close it and so after we are done reading from the file, the last thing we do is we close it. And we use the, the variable that's referencing the file object to close it. And so we can see over here that read file to close. Um, yeah. Let's try making sure everything is working. Okay. So please enter the name of the file. I'm going to enter exactly the name of the file with the extension .txt, sample text .txt. So I hit enter and we can we can see that it's it's reading from the file, right? But there's something happening. So we'll get this. So so right now it's reading everything from the file and we can see. So there, there are a couple of things happening and we'll fix it. So well at least we know that it's working. At least we know it's reading first line, it's reading second line. And, and then basically everything all the way to the last s all right so this is this is what i was talking about the, the extra spaces in here anytime you read a line you're reading the line itself and that hidden new line character attached to the right of this line and so the print the print function itself okay ends with a new line character so first of all this first line uh, string is 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 being is it basically has a hidden New line character attached to the right of it, and that's what's causing the that's so. And they basically, what 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 happens is because of that new line character, that hidden new line character here, it forces the the position right. Okay, I mean in terms of in terms of it being displayed, in terms of the strings or the lines being displayed, the the position will move from here right to here, right. And so anything that comes after first line it should be displayed from this line going right but the print function also ends with a new line character after printing whatever you've told it to print right it also ends with a new line character and so so what is happening is first of all it's displaying first line and then that new line character attached to the right that hidden new line character attached to the right of the of these lines forces the position to move from here to here but anytime you call the print function after after printing everything that is in the print function, it ends with a new line character, meaning it, it also moves the position from where it's at here to the next line. And so anything that comes after that print function is displayed on the next line going. And so that's why we have the extra lines. And so the way to the way to fix it is because the line has uh, the, because the lines have an extra new line character attached to the right of each of them, right? There's a function called R strip. R strip. The R stands for right. We are stripping, okay? We are stripping something on the right of this line. We are stripping, okay, something on the right side of this line. And what are we stripping from the right? We are stripping that hidden 
new line character. We know the new line character here. Okay. Attach to the right. Okay, of this line. And so when you when you strip it, you are taking this away, and so basically you are left with just a line. So this now it's just printing the line, and the new the print function ends with a new line character. So it just prints the line, moves to the next line, prints the other one. So we we're not going to have an extra, you know, we're not going to have this new line character take effect by um, creating an extra line break. So when I run this, type in name sample text dot txt. And so now we can see that it's displaying still all the lines, but then no extra spaces. Now we have to, we still haven't solved the question because it said that we should if the file contains more lines, the program should the file should display the, the program should display only the first five lines of the file, right? And we did that over here to, to some extent. We we're checking to see if first of all that line wasn't empty and checking to see if the lines read, okay, is less than or equal to maximum lines, okay? And as long as it's less than or equal to maximum lines, we're good. We can keep on reading more lines, making sure that we are under or equal to five. But the thing is, anytime we read a line, we have to add one to it. We did it over here. But remember that this, okay, this line runs only once, okay? After, after these two lines run, right, the loop takes over and the loop keeps on iterating. And when it's done, it moves over and over and over, over, we move, it continues down. Over here, also, we read a line, right? Over here, also, we read a line. And remember, anytime we read a line, we have to increase lines read by one. So let's do that. Because if we don't do that, then lines read will always be equal to, will always be less than or equal to maximum lines read, right? And so keep on. It will, yeah, it will keep on displaying basically all the lines, you know, pretty much. And so now, anytime we read a line, right? Let's make sure that we incre increase lines read by one, because otherwise lines read will, will basically always be one. Okay, and one will always be less than or equal to maximum lines read. And so we'll get to a point lines read will be five. Okay, actually, if n five is going to be less than or equal to maximum lines read, which is five too. But it'll, it'll get to a point, maximum lines will be, sorry, it'll get to a point, I'm sorry, lines read will be 6. And 6 won't be less than or equal to 5, because maximum lines read is 5, and 6 won't be less than or equal to 5. In that case, this whole while loop will stop. That means it's going to read the lines 5 times only. So when we run this, set, type in the sample text.txt and hit enter, we can see it's just displaying the first five lines. Although, the file contains more more lines, and because we we've set it up this way, we can change these values, right? I mean, we can't we don't have to touch lines red, but we can we can change this maximum lines to read. Let's say we the program said or read the first seven lines. You can change this to seven. Run this. Type in. Let me just copy and paste this so that I, I don't type it again. <laughs> Sample text of txt. Hit enter. Now we have seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, and then we can test one more. The program said that if if the file contains basically if the file has more lines, it should only display the first five lines. So let me change this back to five. Test it one more time. I have this pasted, so type it. Uh, so we have that we have the first five lines displayed here. Actually, let's create a line break, okay, before the before the five lines, so that it doesn't it doesn't look like this is also a line. This is the question. So let's separate that. Okay, so after we've um, there are a couple of ways to do that. So this is where we are asking the user uh, to enter the name of the file. Right after that, we can call an empty print statement. Basically, before that, right, in any time you call the print function and you tell it to display, or you call the print function and you basically, yeah, you basically want to display something like this. And you, when I run this, basically. It displays that thing. It displays that string I wanted it to display. So it displays the string exactly as I wanted it. But as soon as it's done, it ends that string with a new line. In, in other words, after displaying this, it moves the position from here to the big to the, to over here, right? And so anything that comes after that print function is displayed from this line going. And that's why anything that comes after the print function is displayed from this line going. Anything that is to be printed. That comes after the print function is is displayed here, and so because by default that's how the print function works. It ends with a new line character, 
And so if you call the print function and you pass in nothing, you basically say print something, but print in this case what you're printing, not something is nothing. I pass in nothing in the in the in the parentheses as an argument, right? And so it's still printing something, and but in this case again, that something is nothing. Over here is nothing. And so it's going to go instead of printing this, it's going to print out nothing on this line. Nothing on this line. But by default, the print function always ends with a new line character, meaning after printing out whatever you've told it to print on this line, it's going to move the position from here to the next line. And so basically by calling the print function with a, you know, by, by, by and passing in nothing, you're basically printing an empty line. And, and because the print function always ends with a new line, it's going to move the position from here, for, okay, from the end of the line to the beginning of the next line. And so you, in, in effect, you have an empty line. So when I run this after displaying, I'll type in my, the file name, hit enter, we see we can we have an empty line here. And we have our first five lines, one, two, three, four, five lines to read. Okay, so now the question also said that the program should display only the first five lines of the file. Okay, we have that. If the file contains less than five lines, it should display the file's entire content. All right, so let's delete everything and leave only three lines. Save it, and we don't have to do anything, okay? We say that as long as the lines read is less than or equal to the maximum lines to read, just display it. In this case, we have only three. It's going to try to read three lines. And three, right, lines read, we're going to have three. Three will be less than or equal to maximum lines. So it's going to go ahead and display it for us. And so when I run this, type in the name of the file, hit enter, we have three lines, right? We have three lines. Okay, it has less than five lines. But if we have more, as soon as we have more lines, save it. It, it was, it's not going to display all the lines. It's going to display only the, only the first five lines, maximum lines to read. Type, um, oops, oops, sorry. Paste the name of the file, hit enter. And then now we see it's only displaying the first five lines, even though this file has more lines. And like I said, you can play around with this, change, change this to read only two lines, run the program, is displaying only two lines, even though the file has more lines. Let's change this back to file. Okay, and so we can see this is working, and I think um, I think we've solved it. Um, yeah, I think we've solved it. Okay, so again, uh, we weren't checking to see if the file exists and all that. We've just got you know followed what the, what the what the question is saying and done that. Okay, so if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next program. Okay, bye-bye.